three, two, one. Why do I do that? Because greetings. <laughs> this is Magic Brad with the Magic Brad Show. And I've got somebody from the great white north. Her name is Christy and the last name is Rush, correct? Russ. 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 Are you Russ. Yeah. I'm getting old. I can't see. Russ. <laughs> so it's like two first names. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Nothing wrong with that. Can't get, well, it's true. Does that get confusing when you go to the airport and they got the name back or they start calling? Well, not for me, but my husband gets it a lot. It is easier than the my maiden name that I grew up with that I had to spell and nobody could pronounce. And so that's why I go with Magic Brad, you know, because you can't spell Goodum. <laughs> oh, okay. Keep it simple. Yeah. Well, uh, you mentioned that you're from Canada, Canada, up there. You said Alberta. Yes. Is that on the east or west side? It's west. Just a second over from BC. BC being. Um, so yes, it goes BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and then the rest of Canada. Everybody what's, knows. What's, what's all the beautiful stuff over there on the on the west side? All the ah, uh, the mount, the Rockies, of course. No, no, not the yeah. the, the, the ocean part. What's that all called? That whole. The. The I don't know. The island, though, <laughs> where the west coast, where the ocean is. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Vancouver Islands. Vancouver, yes. Oh, okay. There you go. Gotcha. I've <laughs> seen pictures. My wife has been there. I've never been there, but I got to make a trip to Vancouver. Oh, yes. It's, it looks beautiful. It is stunning. Is it as it is as cold in Canada as people think it is? It can be. Uh, oh, we're definitely Edmonton's further north than most of the rest of Canada. I would love to be more. Uh, like southern Ontario with the you know 30 mid 30s and humidity and stuff but it can it can get as cold as like I mean it has gotten to minus 50 but we usually get about one week of minus 40 and that's Celsius of course I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit probably <laughs> we don't like need minus it. <laughs> 15 maybe Fahrenheit yeah. yeah anyway it can it can get cold but it's not you know we don't all live here in igloos like a lot of people well, I'm in I'm in Minnesota, and some people think, "Oh my God, it's so cold up there." We did a convention here once. So it was for the international group of meeting planners, and they all came in August wearing jackets because they were afraid it's gonna be so cold. And it's oh, ninety and a hundred, yeah. you know. So yeah, exactly. It's not exactly. as bad as people think. So, that is true. How long have you lived in your area? Well, born and raised. There you go. Hey, mm -hmm. you don't yeah. say anything, do you? The what? No, and actually, no. It's surprisingly, we do. <laughs> I never realized that I did until I go somewhere else, and they're like, "Oh, are you from Canada?" And I'm like, "Oh, did I say a?" It's. I think it's our politeness. That is my. Uh, that is you my. You guys character. are very polite, and you know how to party. Yeah, well, that is true. We definitely do that. Yes. I, I got a martial arts background, and I used to go up to Duluth, Lake Superior, and all the Canadians just come down to compete. And you guys know how to party. Whether you win yep. or lose, you party. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, if you're stuck inside for eight months of the year, what else do you <laughs> Well, I was looking at some of your stuff and uh, like uh, what you get involved with. It says functional medicine health coach. And I was curious, what is functional medicine? And is there such thing as non-functional medicine? <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's probably something we might not want to get into. But functional <laughs> medicine basically is... Uh, figuring out the underlying reasons for why you're not feeling your best. And then, uh, so we, I figured that out. I'm guiding you step by step to fix those. And it's just infinitely better than the Band-Aid solution of standard medicine. Because it's 100% personalized for your health issues, your lifestyle, no matter how busy it is. And, and fixing the underlying issues and getting your body working the way it was designed to everything magically goes away right like you whatever issues you're dealing with um like the, the body's meant to heal and repair itself but we are just getting sicker and sicker because we're exposed to so much stuff and uh, unfortunately standard medicine i mean i guess you would i don't i don't know if you'd call it non-functional medicine it has its place but it's just uh you know, I can say that because I'm, I'm a pharmacist and I've been doing that for almost 30 years. And so I know how the thought process goes there. And it's usually, it's, it really is just a Band-Aid thing, right? Like we kind of wait for people to get sick, throw a bunch of pills and procedures at them, and hopefully they get better at that point. So yeah, my wife is there's not, 
I oh, okay. what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Figuring out the underlying thing. And you know what? For most people, it is it is the what you're eating, it's lifestyle stuff, yeah. it's the toxins, it's not getting enough nutrients. And and the I always say that I'm the myth buster because the the stuff that we're told is supposed to be healthy. Um, and we've been told our whole lives really isn't. So it's a really a lot of just going, uh, you know, fixing that wrong information and figuring out what's right for your body. So yeah, I think it's important to have someone else that can look from the outside to see that because, you know, we get into this rut and we, okay, you get a cold, so you run to the drugstore and you get mm -hmm. some NyQuil. <clears throat> well, or I had uh, my nephew's wife, she would go out Friday, Saturday night, get all drunk, and then she had to take Tylenol. Mm hmm yeah. <laughs> that she was having a Tylenol deficiency, so she had yeah. a headache. No, it was Friday, exactly. Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we are stuck in that thinking that, you know, one thing that irritates the heck out of me is watching those pharmaceutical commercials where they have all this wonderful, nice stuff, you know, pr prancing through the <laughs> meadow. And then there's a little thing on the bottom in like three point type that says, don't get within three feet or it'll kill you. And then, <laughs> It's really weird. I know. Going on. I can't understand. We're, we're not allowed in Canada. You're not allowed to have uh, direct advertising or whatever. But of course, we see all the commercials in, in the U.S. and stuff. But I often I look at the things and then they do all the lovely rainbows and lollipops. And then the and then the they spend like 20 seconds because they have to list a bunch of side effects and stuff. And then I'm like. Is this actually making people go to their doctor and say, yeah, give me that? Well, like, it's do like, because people are looking for that Band-Aid quick solution that, oh, yeah. I'm feeling bad, I'll just pop these pills. And yeah, well, that is true. I mean, it it is do true. that, but it's temporary that it does that because then you get into the addictive element of it. Yeah, opioid that's right. Reasons. Yeah, I don't know. People think it's difficult. I always just say it's like you're eating anyway. It's just make right. a different choice right mm -hmm. and you're it's just it's just overcoming old habits like i said we've been like i have health people eating a healthy diet and doing healthy exercise and all that coming to me all the time and they've you know they're not losing weight they're exhausted they got pain you know i deal a lot with autoimmune disease and honestly it's not your body tells you what it wants. It's just that we're so used to not listening to it or not knowing how to read those cues mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, it just, it ends up going until, and I always, I have to refer to things as the stress bucket. Like it'll, your body will take so much. And then, then finally there's the straw that broke the camel's back and the, you know, the, it just overflows. And that's when the issues start happening. If you don't look after that, then that's when you're dealing with all of that. Yeah, I know that issue. And then you're feeling just life sucks. So sometimes I have this craving for ice cream and I just got to go have ice cream. So I must be little deficient because I drink rice milk instead of regular milk. So maybe I'm going through some kind of need some more calcium or something. So I just have this craving and I listen to it. I go grab an ice cream cone. And then you, you can yeah. Yeah. And most people, and, the, and I, I always have to say, like, I always call myself probably the most realistic health coach that anybody's ever seen because it's not an all or nothing thing. Right. And that's how people think it's supposed to be. Right. They're like, Oh, life's too short. I'm going to, you know, eat whatever I want and you know, <laughs> do whatever short, I want. Make it shorter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's the thing. And it's, it's the quality, right? Like, yeah, you can, you can eat whatever you want and do whatever you want. And, but then you're just, do you really want to like feel like crap for the last 30, 40, 50 years of your life? Like, no. <laughs> exactly but, but you can definitely do it like the 80 20 principle totally applies so yeah, we're doing you know take the steps once in a while you know get the get the knees worked up so you don't be hobbling around in a walker or one of those little scooters i don't need that i'm 63 pretty good shape i don't want to be hobbling around and stuff no and nobody does and everybody acts surprised when they get there and <laughs> it's hard it's harder to come back from it it can oh, be yeah. done but it's way, it's way easier to prevent it than trying to Well, it back. sneaks up on you little by little. Okay, I'm eating hamburgers and French fries and potatoes. And it sneaks up yeah. on you with all the pasta and all that kind of stuff. And then when you go to lose the weight, it takes time. Just like it took time to get on, it takes time to get off. Exactly. Yeah, that, that instant fix is not really there. It's, I mean, it's, it's unrealistic. Well, it's not sustainable. You could do it. 
you know, when people do these crazy, you know, diet type things all over the place and then, but they can't keep it up. And then you've, you've actually changed metabolism and changed things in your body. Right. And then it's, then it's back, there's more. And, and then it makes it almost impossible. Well, makes it every time you do that, it makes it more and more difficult to lose. You it mean again. like when they get on these diets that prescribe these types of foods, because this like a paleo diet or something like that, maybe a paleo diet's not good for you. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't, there's, there's good paleo and there's bad paleo, right? Like there's, there's, you can eat a paleo diet and be eating just total crap, or you can eat like a paleo diet and have, and it can yeah. be really good, healthful, good for you type foods, right? So it's, um, there's always, there's always a gray area in there. I find most people, it's just not, um, I don't know, it's not realistic to live in our society and kind of eat that way indefinitely because, because, you know, you're eating out. It's, it's tough yeah. to, you know, doing, you know, keto is actually, you know, we should be having a more keto-ish diet is what I, you know, that would be ideal health, but, you know, are you gonna, are you gonna step outside of your house and, <laughs> you know, eat somewhere else, go to a friend's place for whatever. You don't want to be one of those people that it's right. like, you got to look at the ingredients on everything and, oh, I can't have that, can't have that. And then, you know, so, you know, life is to be enjoyed and it's just having the healthiest body in there to do it is, is, is how well, it should I be done. I had a, a friend that was a strict vegan and when we'd go out to eat and it was just like, it was just chaos trying to pick the menu and stuff. And yeah. And put, sending things back and all that. Well, it, and it, yeah, and it makes it, it makes it too difficult. And then, then it becomes, uh, there's a term for it and the, the name escapes me, but um, where people are just fixated on the food. Um, yeah. And it's, and it becomes their life. Well, that's not really your life, right? Like you do the stuff you enjoy and your body is to be there so that you're able to do the stuff that you can enjoy. So, so. when you do your work, do you do like a, like individual coaching on a, with a person? That's a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing or do you do groups yeah. or? Mo I, both actually. Most of the time I do the one-on-one, -on -one, um, but I have uh, an online program actually that, uh, and I've done group with it, but it's now it's more online because nobody ever can show up at the same time and all that stuff. So it's kind of a work at your own pace uh, sort of thing. And it's the, it's the, the myth busted information that every human being kind of needs to feel great. It's, uh, you know, a lot of it's probably more information that you wanted, but if you want to stop when you get to a certain point, it's fine. <laughs> but it basically leads you through, you know, the what to eat, uh, you know, getting enough nutrients in your body, how to, how to exercise and the right way to do that and sleep and stress and toxins and, and all of that stuff. And it really just walks you through the whole thing. So if you've got like 20 minutes, you can sit down and, and learn some of that and then, and then apply it. So there's always, I think I try and build in time to make sure that you apply it so that it's a nice step-by-step -step thing. Mm -hmm. And the, yeah, the one-on-one is, is is basically a total deep dive into what's going on and then we're kind of chatting every couple of weeks to see how your body's reacting to what right what what change we made and it was either we're on the right track and we're ready for the next step or nope body's not liking that and we go in a completely different direction kind of thing so it's really do you do that in your in your group thing where they're doing their own deal do you kind of check in with them once in a while yeah keep them motivated because that's yep for that's sure helpful. there's a there's a, a facebook group that okay. is open for everybody and i'm available there for asking questions at any time kind of thing and that's kind of the best way because it's usually the same questions all the time. that's really right. helpful because it's easy for a person to kind of just go this is too much like work i'm going back to my quarter pounders oh absolutely <laughs> absolutely yeah i've tried to make it as simple and easy as possible my one of my taglines is simply sustainable because it's got to be easy I see otherwise that yeah that's right, right there do. simply sustainable right there. oh there you go yes it is right here simply sustainable yeah, that's my, I've always, if it, if it feels like work, then you're not doing it right. So. Yeah. And the nice thing about just doing like little baby steps is like my, my wife used that Noom app and it worked really, mm -hmm. really good for her because mm -hmm. she likes to check boxes off and stuff. So she would check mm -hmm. in with everything and there's just little baby steps and they're just watching your intake and want 
and do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing. Like I always tell people, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Like even if you've, even if you like some, some people want to take longer and they'll spend, you know, two, three months on the food part of things and just change one thing, one major thing a week sort of thing. It's totally fine. As long as you're progressing. And then I find it to be, most people find it less like it takes the stress off because most people are overwhelmed at what they're supposed to do. Right. And right. so now this way, at least, you know, you're, you're kind of following the right steps. It's just a matter of implementing them and making them a new part of your, of your everyday life. And most things can be, um, yeah, like it's, it's not, it's not rocket science. It's pretty simple. It is a <laughs> lifestyle kind of thing. And I, I know that I'm in the event industry. So you see these people that are all sudden, they do these little crash diets before their wedding and kind of stuff just to fit into the right dress or whatever. Yeah. It seems like it should be more of a lifestyle. But re, it, in, in regards to the event thing, I was going to ask, do you ever do any like retreats or anything like that where you get people to go to some exotic location or? Uh, no, that's not, that's again, most of my clients are super, are busy and kind of, uh, you know, like I have a lot of entrepreneurs and, and people that are just already have enough on their plate. And they, so it works, it works out easier. Like nobody has to come to me. Nothing I do is a hands-on thing. So, you know, COVID didn't really change the way I do stuff. Um, it's always been zoom and over the phone anyway, because it's just a quick check in, you know, asking stuff and then being, okay, this is what we're going to work on for the next couple of weeks. And there you go. Or of course the online program, you're just doing it on your own and asking questions through the Facebook group and stuff. So, so yeah, it's not, uh, some people like doing that. That's not really my thing. <laughs> I, get it. I, it's, get it. I think it would be too much information. It would be way too overwhelming to try and give everybody what they need in a weekend or a couple of days. And then yeah. you just, you, so, I mean, you, I'm sure most people have been to a conference where it's like, wow. And you're like, you can't even sleep. You're so excited about all this possibilities and all the stuff you're going to do. And then when you get home, like how much of it do you actually do? Sure, the retention of that to keep the ball rolling. I totally yeah, get it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, kind of have an emotional crash. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Pretty it's cool. it's it's fun. They're fun and they're kind of inspiring. But yeah. Okay. Well, Christy, how do people get a hold of the, if if they want to be healthy and simply sustainably healthy? How do they get a hold of you so that you can maybe check out your programs? Right. Well, uh, the website would be the best way. It talks a little bit more about what I'm doing and how I got there and all that. Uh, so Christy Russ Health Coaching. It's a real fabulous <laughs> handle there. Uh, Christy Russ spelled K-R-I-S-T-Y. Uh, Christy Russ Health Coaching .com. There is a master class. When you get there, there's like this green bar. Click on that master class and watch that. It's a good like 40 some minutes and that'll give you like basic what things need to be worked on and at least I think I've got at least eight things that you can walk away with and do right away sort of thing wow. and then that that'll give a sense of you know where you should be going what kind of stuff I do and then then the there's the programs from there that you can look at so all righty so Christy mm -hmm. Russ health coaching.com and I will put that link below in the little YouTube thing and when I beam this up, if you could uh, send you a link to it, and if you could share it too, that's what helps me get the visitors and such. So I appreciate you taking the time. Is there anything you have to say, a parting statement or something like be healthy or? <laughs> <laughs> I just, with, with the one thing with this whole COVID and everything is I hope, you know, what, what, I, what bothers me is that being healthy underlying having a healthy body is the best way to fight off anything so you know everybody's uh you know rightly like afraid and and concerned and doing all of the stuff that we're doing and if everybody just got their body working better and got healthier um so that that would fix it because you know the next but we get past this one the next pandemic is going to be you know another five or ten years away right so do it now feel better now Use the, the health as top of mind to, to finally look after your health. Because whatever is happening, it just ends up getting worse. The, mm -hmm. All the new, there, let me say, there's no normal signs of aging. That's a, that is a farce. 
there it's what's normal is to feel amazing right up until you slide into the grave so <laughs> all these normal aches and pains and things that are coming and people say no it's just me getting old it's really not you can do i am in total so, agreement i'm 63 and i don't have any of those pains very perfect i got little things that i do to stay keep my keep the ball rolling and i feel pretty good i'm not ready to slide in the grave yet though awesome <laughs> Okay, Christy, I appreciate you taking time. I'll get to work on this and get it out to you within the hour. Okay, awesome. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Peace. Bye-bye. Okay.